Do you? Do you? What the fuck was that? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, that's real! This is the craziest fucking night by far. I'm gonna find you if you're in there. Come what? out. Who's in here? Ah! Oh! Fucked up year. Seven days of torture. <laughs> oh well. Guys, I want you to know I have the funniest bit plan. So Justin and I have been in the lab for months crafting this one bit. And I literally wrote it out in my office. I was I was scripting it. Um, and we were gonna pull it on him. So you guys will get the world premiere of the of the big bit. World. The stupidest bit. <laughs> Everyone, this is be the dumbest shit that we've ever found. Yeah, so. Some support, maybe. You know what SpongeBob said about Tech? Hey guys, I'm sure you might have noticed something different about us today. Yeah, did y'all notice anything about uh, about us today? So I have been crafting this bit. I think we talked a little bit about it on camera before, and this is one that I've kind of poured my heart and soul into. I think it's going to be one of those moments that. You know those compilations out there, the Nick and Ryan funny moments, and they're like two hours long? Nick and Ryan being besties for five minutes? Yes, yeah, no, it's like, but they're always like 50 minutes because there's so many great examples. <laughs> okay. Um, this is gonna make that, and I feel like it's gonna be like, they're open. It's gonna be the big one, right? Hey, buddy, hey, man, what's up? What are you doing? We're just getting all our supplies for tonight. <laughs> what are you, you over here on camera Spare again? Spare cash in a band, man. What the hell yeah, are you doing gotta, tonight, man? Yeah, we gotta pay for our, our stay, <laughs> somehow. So, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room here. Alexander Starr, I know you're watching this. And if you're not watching this right now, you will be watching this eventually. I want you to know. You start off so threatening. Right here? <laughs> We're your two biggest fans. We know this every every lyric and story time. We know every lyric and YFU. I can sing YFU at two times speed. Do it right now. I'll do it later. But Alexander Starr, we are your biggest fans, and we sing your songs every single day. Didn't you call every her day? Alexander Star? last video? No, I damn sure did not. Singing Alexander Star to keep myself sane. Why were you so like threatening towards her though? Like we're stands, we're not we're not like the creepy stands. We just we I just, just really like you. Look, here's the thing. We, we, we love you. I mean we like when, your stuff. When I approach someone who I idolize, I try to do it from a place of respect. I don't want to come up to them like, oh my god Alexander Star! Oh I'm your biggest fan, I'm your biggest fan. No, I just want to be like, hey Alexander Star, you're just a human just like us. Did you say Alexander again? No, I said Alexander <laughs> I for us. Is it real yet? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. I wanna leave. Just looking at the front door. Oh god. Are there people do you think there are people living in there? The spirits like squatting. Maybe. Like squatting. Squ I don't that's okay. Like, that's that's my fear. Unironically, that's one of my biggest fears about tonight is this place is totally abandoned. All the windows are like blown out and shit like that. So anybody could hypothetically sneak in there and just be squatting there. And that's how people started doing like the religious shit in the basement and all the rituals and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh my God. We officially made it. Hidden in the small settlement of Yorktown, Texas, stands a nearly 75-year-old structure that once served as one of the community's leading hospitals, the Yorktown Memorial Hospital. The practice was founded by a religious sect called the Felician Sisters, a group of devout nuns who would take public vows of obedience and chastity with the operation overseen by one prominent priest from whom they take orders. The priest, however, would go on to become a particularly notorious member of the community as rumors have long swirled about his mistreatment of those very nuns he was in charge of. Mistreatment that would often lead to frequent assaults and even unwanted pregnancies. And of course, this went against everything the Felician sisters stood for, 
So that very same priest would then force these nuns to abort their babies and dispose of them within the building's incinerator. But more on that later. Throughout its short history, it's rumored that over 2,000 patients of this hospital would end up dying within these very walls, a number that would also make up the entire population of current day Yorktown. And the deaths didn't even stop following the closing of the hospital, as in 1986, the facility transitioned into a drug rehab clinic where patient treatment coincidentally hit an all-time low. A fact exemplified by the literal prison cell constructed in the building's basement. This basement is also said to hold some of the building's darkest energy, which could be why unwanted visitors are known to frequently break into this particular area in order to carry out satanic rituals and animal sacrifices. The entire history of the Yorktown Memorial Hospital is shrouded in darkness, making it unsurprising that it's gone on to become a hotspot for paranormal activity since its complete closure in 1992. We have no explanation for what we heard or saw, but we left believing that someone or something was there with us. Many have reported shadow people, distant screams, physical attacks, and even complete possession. The Yorktown Memorial Hospital has certainly built up quite the reputation over the years. And tonight, Nick, Justin, and I will be spending the night within its derelict halls as we continue our investigation into the paranormal. Put this in the cute moments compilation, guys. Number four. <laughs> 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 Oh, stop! Ah, it's fine! Doing? You're fine! Stop! He's over here killing himself just to prevent himself from getting bit by bugs. Hey man, hey, bro. I got enough fucking red bumps on my forehead, alright? I can't the face you were making so fucking Have fun. you ever been bit in, like, on the face by a bug? Oh, I think it's off limits for him now all of a sudden. Bro, wait, what's that behind us? Is that, is that the Yorktown? It, oh, shit. What? Oh, real, right in your face region. Uh, there's a fly flying around me. Oh, don't worry, they never bite your face, man. It's all right, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Actually, one of the things that scares me most about places like this and just abandoned locations in general is you really never know who or what is gonna be in there. Like, I'm not talking just spirits here. I'm talking yeah. like, I mean, the windows are blown out. It's totally abandoned. There could be literally fucking anyone in there. And it's happened before where in the basement, people broke in and did satanic rituals killing animals, drawing pentagrams, shit like that. Like, people who are clearly up to no good. There was one point where they did a ritual on on a raccoon. Was it a raccoon? Rocket raccoon. And it was it was gutted. Like, the, the owner came in and found it just completely split open, guts everywhere, blood everywhere. And the worst part is he had to clean that. I got Bro, fucked up, that's man. That's messed like, up, man. Like, at least clean it up if you're gonna do yeah. it, you know? Which, yeah. don't do it, but like, yeah. I think what we should do, because I'm genuinely scared of encountering people and animals in there, yeah. before we even start, I say, we walk around, just kind of get a scope of the area, check in the little crevices, make sure we're alone in there, and then we really start our investigation. Following our sweep of the building, we began our investigation in the chapel, which is said to be home to the aforementioned priest and the nuns that once resided here. Though across the paranormal community, some have even claimed that, paradoxically, this area is home to demonic activity, with many reporting being attacked in this very room. Also, are we going to acknowledge this? <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Nick and Ryan. Today, we are going to be checking out Yorktown Memorial Hospital and uh, as you can tell, I'm with my good friend, my good buddy, Nick Crowley. So, hey Nick, how you doing buddy? Um, so are you ready for this investigation? Yeah, same man. All right, 
Hello spirits. My name is Ryan. This is Nick. We are here on a mission to experience Justin. the afterlife. <laughs> this is Justin too. He matters, all right? We're here tonight to experience any activity, any evidence of the afterlife. We know there's over 2,000 people that have passed away here, and we know that this is one of the most haunted places in not only the U.S., but the world. We know we're strangers to you, and we might be a little bit scary, but we are not here to hurt you. We are just here to, like Ryan said, experience you and also show the world that you exist. We have cameras here. If you're here, we want you to come out right now. It's the priest room. Yeah. I swear, I swear I heard something. I can't, it's hard to tell with like the insects and shit like that. Yeah. If there's anyone here, can you give us any sign at all? There's a lot of nuns who were the victims of very bad things. Okay, I heard something again. Scuttle button around over here. Okay, bro, it's weird because like I hear things that feels like it's like two inches away. There's someone here. Step up there and read a line. When an evil spirit goes out of a person and travels over dry country looking for a place to rest. If it can't find one, it says to itself, I will go back to my house. So it goes back and finds the house clean and all fixed up. Then it goes out and brings seven other spirits, even worse than itself, and they come and live here. So when it's all over, that person is in worse shape than the beginning. Passion, what, what is that? What is this? Is the Bible? The Good News Bible, it doesn't sound like good news to me. It's terrifying. I can only imagine what shit that's gonna conjure up saying that in a church. Is it making you mad that we're saying these verses? It's just us three, there's no one else. We just want to experience you in any way. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be going now. We'll be back later. You want to give us one last sign before we leave, then we'll stay for a bit longer. We're going to give you 10 seconds now. All right. To the sitting room? Sitting room. So what I want to do is go into the more adult wing, check that out a little bit, and then kind of set some stuff up and make our way over it. What, what'd you hear? Did you hear? Oh, that was a oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, so let's Wait, set some stuff. That... What was that? The rem pod. Is this what's set up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I heard. And the boo beer. I'm saying that's what I should okay. and the blue beer. You see them? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying that's what I should okay. and the blue beer. Who's here with us? You playing with our devices in here? Are you 
catching our ramp out up there? That oh my god, I'm sorry. What? There's water. Oh, Jesus. Fucking splashed on me. Oh, you splashing water on us? <laughs> you're reaching for content. <laughs> Maybe if we open this up, we'll open up the spirits a little bit. That just went off. As soon as I opened that up, that went off. What? As soon as I opened this up, that clicked. What the? You opened it? Let's get... I had to get a little something going. The priest that resides here was not very godly. That's something we do know. So if you're here, Nick? Yeah. We're getting a sign. Oh, shit. Are you here? Is this the priest? We're here to meet the priest. We know that people get grabbed here, they get scratched. Does it anger you that I'm here? Does it anger you that I'm yelling at you right now? It's ironic that you were a priest and Worked in this chapel here, this beautiful chapel, considering what you did. This is amazing grace. Shall we? Hey. All right. Since you were not a very godly man, we're gonna see how you react to this. We'll do it for you. We're gonna sing you a song. Amazing grace, how sweet. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. You know who they're talking about? Jesus, right there. The big man. Someone that you turned your back on. I know you don't like us in here right now. So make us leave. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Let's make some noise. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. It's funny how when we get loud, when we start singing, I start yelling, you start giving us a sign. That's funny. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let me handle this. Like, I'm, I I'm letting you cook. I'm, I got not... I'm cooking it. I'm, I'm cooking a delicious stew. Yeah. Right now it's stirring up the pot. A little stirring bit. up the casket. Speaking of stirring up the pot. Hey, man! <laughs> I know you're here, but go to hell where you belong. <laughs> Maybe this is your personal hell. Sitting here dealing with us. Well, guess what? We're going to be extra loud and. We might say some nasty things. What kind of nasty things are you going to say? I'm going to say s Here we go. <laughs> hey, man. You're a piece of crap. Bonafide. I can't say much because he's looking when down When he's purposely me. saying something nasty, it ends up being the most tame thing he's said in here all night. <laughs> no, we're just capping. You have no restraint when you're casually talking about, oh, when you, whenever you all act nasty, then, oh, then you say crap? Yeah, okay. In the wise we words of really Alexander Starr, Cap. So anyway, where were we? What's your name? Is your name Eugene? <laughs> what? If it's Eugene, can you set that box off? So if it's Alan, can you set that box off? If the audience had asked more questions, like the variety of questions, I'm asking a variety of questions. Are you gonna ask every single name? Yeah. If your name's Frederick, can you set that box off? Next up in our investigation, we decided to visit the second floor's sitting room, also known as the nun's quarters. This room served as the nun's own private area, which could explain why they don't take kindly to outside visitors, with particular hostility towards males. Now, there are a lot of rumors about this room, 
with one of the most infamous being that this was where pregnant nuns would be forced to abort their fetuses by the priest. Though these stories have never actually been proven. But what we do know is that these nuns were very much aware of the other shady activity happening at this site, especially the unusually high number of deaths. And they actively worked to cover that up throughout the hospital's operation, leading to many referring to the spirits of these nuns as corrupt and even evil. Okay. This is it? This is the room where they don't like men to come into. This is the nuns room, the sitting quarters. Seem pretty quiet downstairs, so I'm assuming that means most of you are up here. So we want to open this line of communication. Um, if any of you want to give us any sort of sign. All right, look, I'm gonna give it to you straight. We really, really want to experience some paranormal activity. So if you're here, can you please set this device off or grab Nick on the, on the neck, please? Fuck, and scratch him. Or you could set off this REM pod device. This is the little thing on the ground here. It lights up when you touch it. That would be cool too. You want to knock? Just give us one of these. We would love that. Just a little knock, just anywhere. Can you give us one of those? Or footsteps like Anywhere. Should I start provoking a little bit? What's your, what's your idea of provoking? Hey, man. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> we were promised some spirits here. And it's too damn quiet! So I'll make it a little louder. Hello? Oh my god, the cops are so gonna come. What if we sing religious songs? <gasps> My country tis a <laughs> thief. No, no, that's not. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're from Texas, they might like it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Wait, wait. <laughs> Stop, Sergeant. <laughs> Fuck. Blessed are thee that are full of your glory. Oh, it's like, Ozana, I am the Lord of the dance, said he. That's a good one. Do you know one? Oh, I'm a little drunk and I can cry what? right now. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh shit. What the oh shit. Wait, what? Wait, that's real. Guys. No cap. No cap. I'm a little I'm drunk, drunk and I can cry, cry right, right now. now. Real we thought so we should just thought you would die right now. Cause we're both at a party. party. You came with, with somebody, somebody dude. So someone is here and open the line of communication. <sighs> All right. Fellow Alexander Star Stanis. Hey, I mean, Our respect shit, your taste. the best of us, yeah. So I, I like you already. I could do that on this video. Bad one. Okay, and it's about okay. it. So someone is here and open the line of communication. <sighs> All right. Fellow Alexander Star Stand, I see. Okay, and it's about okay. it. So someone is here and open the line of communication. <sighs> All right. Fellow Alexander Star Stand, I see. Can you give us one of those? Or footsteps, like anywhere. Do you like when I play these hymns? <laughs> you're on your laughing, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> what, the wrong, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just I'm playing. Like, we're in the room with the nuns. I'm playing the hymns. <laughs> Attract them. With activity being unusually quiet throughout the building, we decided to go back to the first floor and visit the children's room, where the spirit of a young girl named Stacy is sent to call home. 
Stacy was the daughter of a doctor who worked in the hospital and being unable to find an adequate daycare to watch over her, Stacy's mom would bring her to work and have her spend her days playing in the children's area or exploring the building. Because of this, another doctor at the hospital named Dr. Nuwarski would take a liking to the child, buying her toys and gifts and even her favorite book, The Pokey Little Puppy. Though some say his behavior teetered on the edge of being obsessive and inappropriate. And to make things even stranger, Stacy would end up passing away in this very hospital due to unknown reasons. And to this day, her spirit is believed to still be wandering the premises. Okay. Alright, so we're in the children's toy room. Oh, okay, that literally off already. Okay. Alright, so we're in the children's quarters. Activity's already starting. We're here to reach out to some of the kid spirits here. And as we can see, our box is already going off. Holy shit. Is someone here inside this room with us right now? It's okay. If you're a little child, you can touch the box. It's okay. We're not scary like all those other mean people. It's okay. We just want to meet you. We're not scary like all those other mean people. It's okay. We just want to meet you. We're not scary like all those other mean people. It's okay. We just want to meet you. We heard you like when books are read to you, and we just so happen to have brought one today, the Pokey Little Puppy, which I heard one spirit in particular really, really likes. If you want to hear that, can you maybe touch one of these to give us a sign that, yes, you want to hear it? Do you want us to read you the Pokey Little Puppy? Wait. Did the rumpet out there go off? Wait. I thought I heard it, I thought I heard it go off. Touch one of these to give us a sign that, yes, you want to hear it? Do you want us to read you the pokey little puppy? Wait. Did the armpit out there go off? No. Yes, you want to hear it? Do you want us to read you the pokey little puppy? Wait. Did the armpit out there go off? Yeah. What was that? What was that? Did some, are you playing with the dolls right now? I brought a really good book. I want to read it to you. It's called The Pokey Little Puppy. If you want me to read it to you, can you give us a sign? Can you just touch this box or this little bear? I'm going to read this book, so feel free to give us a sign while I'm reading it. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one right after the other. Here you go, buddy. Good luck. <clears throat> oh my god, I got, a, I got a graphic novel over here. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see Roly Poly. Hell no, till they came to the green grass. What in the world are you doing? They said. <laughs> I smell something. <laughs> said Pokey Little Puppy. This is probably the way they would talk, right? <laughs> the next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. You know what the sign said? No. You want to know what the sign said? If you want to know what the sign said, can you please uh, give us a sign? Light up that REM pod. Light up that REM pod? That little bear. It said, don't ever dig holes under this fence. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, you know what there was? I have no idea. A pokey little puppy, sitting still as a stone. 
his head on one side and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them. With chocolate custard for dessert. That sounds good. But their mother was greatly displeased. No chocolate custard tonight. You hear that? No, 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 no chocolate that custard. Pod. And she made them go straight to bed at 8.30 p.m. Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. Don't do it, man. Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. That's a threat. Set up that ramp pod. Dig holes under this fence. Don't do it, man. Don't ever, ever dig holes. It had to have been like a bug or something. Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. Don't do it, man. Don't ever. This is a long book, oh my god. <laughs> now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered. And when they turned around, there was their mother watching them. What good like little this. puppies. <laughs> they finally did something good. High damage after that. <laughs> this, is, this is the tonal shift. They oh, finally shit. did something good. And the next morning, someone had put up a sign that said, Yeah, what is the scene we all want to know? Wait, wait, set up the rim pod if you want to know. Come on, give us a sign. I gotta sit down. <laughs> I don't like this book. Is this is the darkest story we've heard. Why, why would they put that? Why would they put that at the end? I'm just not even gonna read it, I'm gonna show the audience. Why? It's a, it's a book for kids. Like, why, why would you put that in a book? That's so. That's messed up. Bro, the pokey little puppy doesn't even, like, he gets locked out. I would welcome the pokey little puppy to my house with open arms. Even if he was bad, he would still be welcome in my house. At the end of the day, aren't we all pokey little puppies at some point in our lives? Comment if you relate. I have a feeling a lot of you will kind of know what I'm talking about. Set off the REM pod if you relate. Can we do a REM pod set off? Right now, grab a table. I'll be right back. I don't know. You can stay in that room. It's hot. It's humid. And it's pretty dead right now, honestly. Kind of expected that we'd get something, something more conclusive by now, but that's just the kind of nature of things. Been pretty quiet tonight. What? What? Okay, something moved in here. I'm not even joking. Somebody just move over there. Who's over in this corner? Do you want me to come over there? Are you coming towards me? Who's moving over here? I heard like definite shuffle movement in here. 
there a spirit here maybe wanted to talk? Who's over there? What are you moving around over here? Can you give me some sort of other sign that you're here still? feeling that the guys are up to some funny business and that they're going to scare me because it is awfully quiet in here. Oh, we finally fucking heard something. Really? Yeah. No way. I don't know. It was like shuffling. We both heard it though eventually. Been a really, really messed up day. Really? Yeah. No way. I don't know. It was like shuffling. We both heard it though. Eventually. Oh, of course. When I leave. Yeah. They're just intimidated. Oh my god. All right, spirits. I got one thing to say. It's been a really, really messed up year. Seven days of torture, sitting in. Oh, I've scrubbed. Perhaps the weirdest aspect of this hospital is one that we've not yet touched on, and that's the fact that it had an extremely high infant mortality rate, most notably by the hand of one 90-year-old doctor named Dr. Spex. Now, following the closure of the hospital, the staff hurry to discard any paperwork they possibly could that would indicate exactly how many deaths occurred here. But when doing so, they left a few documents which showed that during one particular year, 50% of the births that Dr. Specs facilitated were labeled as not delivered, ultimately insinuating that those babies had not survived the birthing process. His conduct became so poor that eventually, during a standard thyroid procedure, he would slip up and somehow wind up slitting his patient's throat, ultimately killing them. Whether this shocking number of mortalities was something malicious or just due to his advanced age, the delivery room in which he once worked is considered to be especially active to this day. Spirits of the Yorktown Memorial Hospital, I want you to come out and interact with us now, if you're willing and able to. Spirits, are you here? Doesn't sound normal. Is there a spirit touching that? Why is it going off with Why is it sounding like that? Who's there? I never heard it sound like this before. What the fuck's going on? Spirits? Are you staying with B? Do 
you want to give us some sort of indication other than the REM pod that you're here? Can you maybe give us a whisper or a knock? Dr. Nowerski, is that you? You trying to kill us? What the? What is this? I have no fucking clue. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Did y'all get up? No. Wait, I think I did. That, that went off. Okay, this is something very serious. What the fuck? This is... What this is not normal. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not normal, please. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, thank fuck. you. Spirits? Here. Ryan, if you're going out, take this. Let's see if anything happens in the hallway. Here. Stop making the room probably go off if you want us to talk to you. What is here? This is not that fucking normal. Awesome. This is not normal. There are no, no other electric. Wait, holy sh wait. Guys? Guys? Is that going yeah. off? What's up? Why did, why did that stop? That just stopped, that just, okay. Okay, do you want us to stay in this room? Can you do that again if you want us to stay right here and ask you more questions? I have never seen the Rampon do that before. I don't know how you were doing what you were just doing, but can you do it again for us? I don't like how it stopped when I, told, when I asked it to stop. Yes, can you please give us any sign? I know you're giving Nick and Justin a sign at that REM pod, but can you give me a sign? I really want to believe that you exist. There's a lot of people, like myself, that are very skeptical that you exist. And I want irrefutable proof that you are real. This place is reported as one of the most haunted in the world. So come out. That was so weird. And even when, it was consistent when we were in here and when we were out there, it just kept going. Yeah. But it kept, it, like, when we were out there, it was like building too. It was like getting louder and louder. It's just, like, How can it make that noise? Like... No, it's not. It's like... No, wait. Wait, hold on. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna get out That was not you. What the fuck? That's so never... bizarre. I don't know what sets that off, though. Like... Did those stop going on? Yeah. Like, that was seriously fucking weird. What, what, like, that's not going off anymore? No. And when you said, what the fuck, it stopped? Then that stopped. But I've never heard it make that noise before. Yeah, that's it. We, we leave. It's... Dr. Nabirsky, is that you? Is this Dr. Specs? Is this the man responsible for killing so many people? We want to know if what happened to the patients here in this hospital, all the deaths that happened by your hands, we want to know if that was intentional or if it was just malpractice, if it was just old age. Can you give us a sign if it was all just an accident? Can you set that rain pot off and let us know that it was all just an accident? Did you don't 
purpose? Did you like hurting people? You know, you really remind me of a man named Walter White. He said he enjoyed hurting people. He enjoyed cooking meth. He enjoyed doing dope. Is that, is that what you liked? You liked hurting all them innocent people? You think you're sly, you're not. Old man. Sorry, I know, that's all I can think of. I wanna know if you think you're innocent or not. If you think you're really, truly innocent, then can you grab that red pot and set it off for us? You think you're a sly dog, don't you? It's always a sly dog. <laughs> It's time to do the bit. It's time. The bit? The bit. So I've been crafting this bit. I just this one that I've kind of poured my heart and soul into. I want you to know I have the funniest bit plan. So Justin and I have been in the lab for months. So you guys will get the world's premiere of the of the big bits. The stupidest bit. <laughs> All right, down the rabbit hole. Time to watch this stupid bit he's about to do. You think it's stupid now? Well, wait till you see it. Is it, is it going to be good? Oh. No. No comment? I've never been more confident in a bit. The intricacies of it, and really the relatability of it, That's is what's true. going to drive this home. Yeah. So. Okay, all right. I want the lights, I want the pressure. They say I perform best when the lights are brightest, so. Okay. All right. I'm going to need two angles on this one. Okay. No cap. No cap. <laughs> Don't tell me that was the bit. <laughs> that was the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's never coming back. Are you fucking kidding me? That was the whole bit. <laughs> it was no cap. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's, <laughs> I think he's going to Dollar General. This is kind of the time at Hinsdale where it started popping off. And he even said today, he's like, stay till at least one. Yeah. Because that's when stuff starts to go crazy. And we saved the single creepiest place for last. The basement. And it's terrifying. It is past 1 a.m. The owner told us to stay past 1 a.m. And this is the shittiest goddamn reenactment. Wait, we already I've said this. <laughs> I've ever done. Wait, we're good. I think we're good. I feel like we nailed it. Basement. Say the basement. Basement. <laughs> oh, well, you said, do you want to say the basement? Yeah, like the basement. I thought you wanted to not do it. The basement. 
Oh, that's creepy. That, that was creepy. <laughs> Bro, don't do that. <laughs> <I'm> so sorry. <laughs>
especially may have lost their lives right here in this cage. I mean, the stories are just terrible what they put you through. If there happens to be a spirit of someone who was locked in here, can you maybe give us a sign by setting off this device here, just by touching it? Or if you want, you can give us a sign by making a sound, making something move down here, just any noise at all. Mm -hmm. Can I move over there? Okay, let's go. There's something moving around down here. Something or someone. If you're down here moving around, can you come move around over here? Make this device go off? Do you hear that? The chirping? No, it was like a It was like a tool. No, I, I, heard, I heard right after you said that, I heard something right behind you. What? Oh, oh, oh. There's somebody in that room. There are any spirits here right now. Can you give us a sign, please? Any sign? What the fuck was that? this device again, please? What the fuck is going on? Okay. Okay, shit is getting fucking weird now. Should we sit back down? That's a good thing though. Yeah. Are you AM, AM or did you yeah. both? Okay. I'm not getting anything on either. Jesus. Hmm. 
Is there a spirit down here right now? Is there a spirit down here right now? Hi? Wait, what the fuck? So I start asking questions and I hear a response. It's insane, it's all static. It's all static, every single station. And then I ask a question and it goes, hmm? What? Who's here? Hello? Is someone here? We're calling the police. Yeah. So, it said there was one event. Are you serious? Yeah. That's what I'm waiting on.
<laughs> the fuck is this? Hey, what am I looking at here? Wait, is this the one he meant? <laughs> you know what that means, right? There's no one in there. It's the it's, only alternative is there's no one in there. And it's a spirit. I'm not like. I guess I'm not thinking in ghost hunting mode because that was. I don't know. It's just dark dumbasses. Because I'm still thinking, what if they snuck in or something like that? Like from the window or some shit. Oh, it's just. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's cut the camera. Come on. Bro, I literally, we are not going, I can't go solo. Like there, I think there is, I literally think there's someone in there. Like I'm not joking, I don't think it's a fucking spirit, I think it's a person. Cause we left the door open. We can't go in alone, we we just can't. Okay, it's it's dangerous, right. unless you want to scope the area out again. So wait, well, what if we scope it and we don't find anything? Then what? Cause I don't, I don't know. Cause I heard that too. I, I heard like footsteps, like if someone was walking around. It, somebody was walking in there. Like I'm, I'm pretty yeah. confident. You know what the scariest part is, right? Mm. When you go down in the basement, where we were, is like on that edge of the building, not by the front. So that means they're pretty deep in the kids' ward. Let's just look. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. the building is also it's so big that like, mm -hmm. unless we like tackle it in a smart way, it's really easy to evade. Yeah. People. This... The thing is that. that they're stuck in there. We yeah. Like, if we corner them... There's three of us, you know? Yeah. Yo, wait, what do you have? <laughs> when you said a hatchet, I thought you meant like an, like an axe. That is... <laughs> it's, like, it's like one step up from a ninja star. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. The place is surrounded! Police! You're Sorry, a nurse. The police department. It's Jover. <laughs> We're gonna find you if you're in there. Come out. We got an axe. <laughs> we got the SWAT team. All right, y'all wanted to do this the hard way. Hey, get out! <laughs> we don't want any trouble, but I have a hatchet. <laughs> and I'm not for you. You need to leave. <laughs> I bit when I leave the door. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they have to leave. Oh yeah. No. Now we want him to stay. We know someone's here. We checked the cameras. We, we got your face. Oh, and you're an ugly we motherfucker. Don't call the cops. All this hypercut's gonna be insane. <laughs> you're scaring me now. I was fucking terrified. I don't think you're considering the possibility that this is an actual person. Yeah, I mean, if there is no one here, this this really lends to to like how haunted this place is. If what you heard wasn't actually a person, I feel like I, in my mind there's just no possible way that it could be anything. Else. I wish I did not have the spirit box on during that too, so I could disprove your claim. Wait, what? Oh, okay, too okay. much. But you know what? I believe you. That's I'm surprised, actually. I'm I surprised. fucking believe you. Okay, well, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. I have character development, I know. <laughs> Sound effect. Oh, wow. I'm bleeding. Oh, really? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're coming! <laughs> Literally! No, wait, sorry. One chance to leave! Yeah. <laughs> they call well, me that's the what Yorktown you did. Axe Man. <laughs> There are 12 people in my day. <laughs> you might as well be holding a pocket knife. I'm about to make it 13 people. What if someone just charges at us from behind? That's, yeah. Like, I have so many fears. Oh, if, I, if someone charges at us. <laughs> what, what, what we're miss? in Texas. They probably have guns. Hey, man. You need to leave. What? Oh, who, who's, who's late is that? Who's late? Who's late is that? Okay, okay. I thought, I I thought someone I thought someone was. I thought there was a late over there. I think it might have been us. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, I gotta tell you something. 
No one's here. You know what we've been hearing? Place where I feel like, like yeah. endangered, like physically, not just like spirits. This is, it's like, it's fucking real. Alright, let's go upstairs. Guys, we need to be really, really careful. Okay, how, how do we want to approach this search? Because, like, there's a fuck ton of doors and shit. If we are for What the fuck is happening behind me? I heard that. Shifted. It's not something. Something's going on. My my thought process is they either walk through there or went through a window or something. Hopefully they went out that window. This might come in handy now. Imagine being at a time like this. <laughs> okay. This is gonna scare the shit out of one of us. Already. Fucking, like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. We're in danger, and you and you pull this. Hey, there's an intruder here. We are using that to our advantage. I bet you. Thank you. <laughs> We're thank by you blocking the only here. exit. Oh, 
All right, just literally just right, leave. Just hey, leave, hey, bro. We're, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. Just, just, can you just leave? We don't care, we're just scared. And we have a tomahawk, <laughs> and if you jump out at us, we're going to throw it accidentally, and <laughs> somebody's going to die. Hey, yeah. man, look, we're cool. We just, we'll give you a... Uh, a feature on our video, like, it's all chill. It's all chill up here, right? So we, just, we just want to film a video and do it without anyone breaking in. We're not the ops, don't worry. Not the ops, contrary to what you said. We're actually just three dudes chilling. But they are on their way. They're, they're not on their way. If you plan on hurting us. I mean, they might be on their way if you're threatening. How do you know I'm trained in the arts of military battle? What the fuck? Me, 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 don't worry, me, sorry. I don't know, I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Did you, did you? What whoa. the fuck that was that? That was inside. Something just slammed the door. Shit. I don't know, I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Did you, did you? What whoa. the fuck was that? Inside. Are y'all are y'all playing with us? They might have been in the front door, I swear to god. They might have in the front door. Who's in here? I swear somebody just went out the front. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Nick, dude, can I, we just, I don't know. What, what is happening right now? Because this is fucking weird. This took a turn in like the darkest direction for us. I, th I think Number someone 15. was... I, I know. Okay, okay. Yeah. All, right, all, right, so, all right, so the audience knows like... They, we, we think someone's like legit here. It's not yeah, like... This is not a bit. Like normally we fucking joke around, but this is not a bit. Yeah. Do y'all think somebody just went out the door because... I think so. Oh, oh, it was right there. Can we check some Yeah. Yeah. You. Dude. We're gonna home alone you with our ghost yeah. technology. Wait, hold on. Did you close it, close it? I don't know. I really don't know. Either. What, so what What did we hear? Was it? It did kind of sound like that. Fuck. Like the closing, right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? What is happening right now? Oh, no. Three cops. What, there's no one, we didn't find anyone. This is, we, we heard someone talk, right? It sounded like it. Oh, I thought Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't think that was a person. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I think I think it was a person fucking with us. Yeah. Personally. Oh, I mean, okay, because it's it's hard to make it like a, a judgment call on it because we are in like one of the most haunted yeah. places and like calling the cops out here. That yeah. they'd be like, "There's nothing here." Wait, I mean, we all heard it was. Yeah. That it, it would be a, ghost. Like a joke if if we did that. Like they they would laugh it off. I'm assuming. I'm like, okay, this is what we're supposed to be hearing in a haunted place, but it felt like it felt a little too real, like right from the jump. I don't, I don't know. I mean, okay. think about it. We, we've never been in a haunted place that's made us want to call the cops. That's true. That's insane. And for it to go like no activity, no activity, no activity, to all of a sudden like a fucking ghost walking around and speaking, it's it just oh, seems like a, a reach, you know. I, I I think it's just weird how. Sentry did not. That that's what's that bugging up, me out strange. a little bit. Yeah. It's crazy because like Hensdale started slow, and it was mm -hmm. the scariest night, or one of the scariest nights. And tonight started slow. Yeah. I just took it to the extreme. Oh, just 
I don't know what to think. I don't know how to feel. I'm just kind of still shell shocked, honestly. Like, this is the craziest fucking night by far. We always said, like, what if we had a place that was so scary that we left? And I know we were gonna have to leave there anyway, but we weren't planning on leaving that early. Um, did we finally have that moment? I could really use a nerd's gummy cluster right now. I'm my... feeling nervous. This is what I eat always. I need to wash my hands before I eat any food. <laughs> No, wait, are you serious? I swear in the distance, there's talking. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, wait, can I hear it? It's not, yeah. Either way, it's terrifying. Either we were in there with some rando bando, or that's a goddamn spirit. So what's your verdict before we even take a listen? I, would, I need to listen again. Okay, that's right. Because in the moment, it was way more clear. Mm -hmm. It does sound like someone's there, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I still say we go back. Yeah, it's a, it sounds like someone, right? Hello! <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like someone yelling. Yeah, they said, yeah. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, that's what I heard. I thought it was, I, so the first time I heard it, I thought it was me. I don't think that's, a, I don't think that's, I feel like that's just the person that's there. Hello! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. At this point, do we just hang it up and call Stephanie and in the night, or do we go back, head back to the chapel, and do one last session at the risk of there potentially being someone else in the building? If there's someone in there, if we're confident there's someone in there, then we shouldn't go back. But if we're leaving some chance up to it being paranormal, then we walked away from like the best activity we've ever I know. had. I know. That, that's just fucking the gamble. That's the gamble, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like getting to the climax of everything going on, yeah. and we just like, oh, well, no, we can't do this, bye. And then, like, we're literally setting out on this mission to find paranormal evidence, to become believers. Yeah. And we're walking away from it, you know? Like, Would you that, be willing to go back to the basement where it all kind of kicked off? Would you be willing to go into the heart of it? Because if you're confident, we just go to the chapel. If you're confident that there's no one in there, and that really was a spirit, then shit went crazy as soon as we got there and we only spent like 10 minutes. I would vote to go back. Okay. Let's say go back. So we're All right guys, the Yorktown Slasher's back. I don't think, I, t I don't wanna go back. <laughs> every, every muscle in my body is like, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I feel like it's uh, okay. Let's just take this one REM pod. Let's just go uh, yeah, so travel light. I agree. So we can run. Just in case. Yeah. And if it comes down to it, I'm, I'm leaving this fucking thing <laughs> if it really comes down to it. But the good news is whoever was in here is gone. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're definitely not squatting. We did not. Footsteps. You hear that? Do you hear footsteps behind me? Oh, 
Oh my, oh my god. god. Yorktown Stop. Stop. He's ready to. I'm, I'm thirsty. Oh. What the fuck is going on? We got damn direction and just started moving that. The scariest part is like there's one way to the the room we were at, and it's all the way in the back. Yeah, you're right. Past everything. Cornering ourselves in, in here is a crazy decision. Why? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just thinking about that. Like, so we thought there was a, a burglar here. So we're coming back into the jail cell. We need to isolate ourselves. with my back turned. All right, I will watch your back. If that really was a spirit that we heard and not someone else, clearly you have some serious energy behind you. So right here, right in this basement, can you move something, make a sound to prove without a shadow of a doubt that that was not a real living person? Thank you for whatever that was. What the fuck was that? It was like a snake, right? Yeah. Was that a snake? But they, but they said there was a fucking snake in here. No. They did. The fucking th thick, they, they call it Godzilla. No. Stop. I swear to God. No, no, no. Did you hear that though? Thank you for whatever that was. Thank you for whatever you want. No, stop. I swear to God. No, no, no. Did you hear that though? I heard that. That, that was a like a real snake or a ghost snake? No, no, like a living snake. Like a... Oh, that's fucking great. I didn't know that. Wait, where? Oh my God, where? It was like from a distance. So... What? Oh, oh what? my fucking Okay, wait, is it, I think it's my phone. What the f- Okay, that's- Guys, that's not- what the fuck is going on? It was a ghost snake. Oh, is is someone here right now with us? What the fuck? Is someone here right now with us? So, okay, clearly we're getting a sign. We got something. I don't know if that was a voice or a movement. So how about this? Can you give us some sort of bang, some sort of movement, something definitive, and maybe, maybe even something close by in this room? Maybe even something close by in this room. What the? F Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. Are you? I'm fucking there. Did you hear that? Did you fucking hear that? Was, was that? Because <laughs> that was me. I no, was no, no, no. It was like a. Like a huh? Or something like it was. It was. It was back there. It was, what? It was behind you. Oh, what? It was behind you. All right. Give us one last sign. Give us the big one right now, and we will get out of here and never come back. I want you to speak to us right now. Speak to us, please. Is that you walking in that room there? It seems that every time we come down here in this in this cage, a lot happens. Can you make yourself known? Just give us irrefutable proof that you're here. I want whoever this is to talk. I want you to say something right now to us. Say anything. Can you say Nick? Nick. Nick. Anything?
if you're down here, can you give us a sign and let us know that you're here and not upstairs above us? Is this the priest? Are you down here? Are you laughing at us? Scare us away. I know you don't like us. If there's anything you want to say to us, this is going to be your last chance because we're leaving. We're getting out of here. Step out from that room. Alright, if you won't come out, we're, we're coming over to you. Yorktown Slasher's coming. <laughs> Prepare that ass. Scurrying around over here. What the, what the fuck? You got nothing to say? What the fuck? Uh 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 uh. uh, uh I heard the hiss again. I heard the hiss again. Uh uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What, um, what's going on? It's a ghost snake. No, the, dude, I heard that shit. Okay. And it was, this was where it was coming from, wasn't it? Okay, I'm getting Who's over here? Who's here with us? All right, we're not, we're cut the act now. It's just, we're messing with us. Jesus, I'd like to keep looking. I know, I don't, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Front, front, front. Where's the front? This doesn't seem like the right way. Okay. Wait, the VHS is going Oh, <laughs> no. no. There, Ryan, you can make room for it. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Oh. Fuck. I'll do it. Here, here's hold that. Oh, my God. I think I think one of you should just run for it. Let's go. What? I don't. <sighs> okay. Uh, is it is it just me or do you feel more like earlier? It kind of felt emptyish. Yeah. It doesn't feel like that anymore. No, it feels like it's heavy. weird. This is. I just never experienced this shit. I, I want you to know that, that tonight, we've had all these experiences, right? But tonight, I don't like this place. Yeah, no. I, I really don't like this place at all. And I want to leave right now. We're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to come back. Okay, let's go, let's go. I don't want to come back. Let me just share back. I genuinely don't want to be here anymore.
Wait, wait, wait. Can you give us one last sign before we go? Goodbye forever. Wait, did you Oh god, wait. <laughs> Fuck it. I just want to get away from the front door. <laughs> this will go down as one of the biggest mysteries probably ever on our channel. I can't see it ever talking this. We'll I will never, never know. Yeah. Never fucking know. Uh, I do know one thing though. Spirits, stay with V and not with me. Spirits, you may not follow us home in any way, shape, or form. You must stay here and only here and nowhere but here. You are not welcome. You're not welcome to follow us home. Especially you, priest. Dick. Okay, so it has officially been six months since we filmed here. A whole half a year it took us to edit this one video, and we were working at it every single day. <laughs> Mainly me, some... I'm sorry. It has been six months and for the first time we have the final product and we can kind of see all the evidence that we captured and now I'm left with the question. We're all left with the question. Was someone in there with us or was this all just a paranormal experience? So I wanted to call Ryan. He just watched the final cut. So did I. So did Justin. And we're just going to kind of give our thoughts. I want to see what he has to say because I feel like he always has the craziest opinions on everything and they're usually wrong. So. We told him we were. Oh. What's up? Who am I? You. You ruined the segment. What the? <laughs> what do you think actually happened that night? When you're there in person, it's you know it's really easy to get psyched out and stuff in your own head. But that that was the thing also is Yorktown, in the town of Yorktown, Yorktown Memorial Hospital is like the only like tourist attraction there. So it's like a hot spot for people breaking in messing with the people that are exploring there and stuff, so. Alright, I hear you. Who said hi? Oh my god, this is like a tourist trip. Really got it. Also, people are, people are yelling at us from outside. It's, it's understandable that our minds went straight to, like, all we're being messed with. Okay, the one thing that will forever bother me about this place is we, when we were in the kitchen, when it was just us, and this was a part that, by the way, we never thought this was gonna make the final cut. We were just kind of walking around exploring when we heard something. And when I'm peering down into this back corner, there was one room that we never went into the entire time. I have no idea what was back there. And my thinking is, all the movement was coming from whatever that back room was. So if we had just turned that corner, we would have either been met by a person or no one. And both of those are equally as terrifying. But, dude, just like watching it back and stuff, we scoured that place. You know we did. We went upstairs, downstairs, every single corner of that place, and we had cameras set up, and nothing caught anyone. Nothing. Yeah. And, I mean, that just, in itself right there, just lends to the possibility that, you know, what we heard may not have been anyone at all. Are you saying you actually think it was like a spirit or a paranormal encounter? I'm telling you, there was no one there. And my only explanation is that it was paranormal because it is literally the most paranormal hospital in the state of Texas, okay? The most, okay? <laughs> so there's no other explanation in my mind. It was paranormal. All right, you heard it here first. We all agree it was a ghost. <laughs> um, we just proved ghosts exist. Drops phone. Let's do this one together. Let's do our outro or over and out. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Over and out. Wait, you, didn't, you didn't say it. <laughs> okay, all right, ready, ready? One, two, three. Over and out. This is the one place where I feel like we have the most unfinished business because that question. Yep. What if we came back a second time and the same shit happened? See, then I feel like we know. And that might be the only way to know at this point. Yeah. Because... Audience, leave Yorktown too in the comments if you want to see us come back. And also leave a like. And maybe we'll consider coming back. 
And by the grace of God, she guys comment Yorktown too, and it gets 46,000 comments. We might come back. That's a lot. <laughs> Jesus, man. Hey, start spamming.